All right, hey guys, Google's Bard is here. Bard is Google's competitor to ChatGPT, their AI system. They opened it up for the public today. You can sign up and uh, get an email for an invitation. I signed up this morning, got an invitation a few hours later, and I wanted to compare them side by side with some pretty basic prompts. I'm not trying to start a business or code an app here, but I just wanted to see with some fairly simple things, how would they respond? Uh, so I compared them side by side, I gave them the same prompts, I asked them to help me write an Excel formula, I asked them on advice on how to trademark a business name, and I asked both of them to write a press release about a made up car wash that I might be opening in New York City. So let's take a look at them side by side and see what the differences are. All right, so the first thing that we see is that Bard is pretty similar to ChatGPT. You enter your prompt, and then it will spit out a return. Obviously, it looks a little bit more Google-fied, if we will. That being said, the formula that it gives us is pretty spot on. So we're definitely looking good in terms of its initial uh, result. Now over to ChatGPT to see what they do, copy and pasting the same prompt into ChatGPT, asking it to produce this Excel formula. So obviously the interface is a little different. Uh, Google was pretty immediate with everything all at once. We see ChatGPT uh, kind of types it out and the speed is pretty good here. Uh, important to note that the formula it's pretty much exactly the same as what we got in Google, so that's a good sign. One thing that we do note is that ChatGPT does provide more of an explanation around why that formula, how that formula works, and why it's important, which I think is really important if you want to actually understand it as opposed to just give me a quick answer. I don't really care about learning why. I just want the formula. So uh, maybe give ChatGPT BT a little bit of a win on this one, but not by much. Okay, now let's ask the platforms, how do I trademark a business name? This can be really important for business owners, and we didn't tell either of them that we're based in the US. They may be able to assume that via IP address, but obviously trademark law can differ in different countries. But in the Google's version, they immediately give us options for the US. They give us how much it costs. They give us a step-by-step -step process. So let's put the same prompt into ChatGPT and see what they say. Um, you know, first they give us a little bit of information about why it's important. It does give us similar information in terms of conducting a search, but it doesn't tell us exactly where. It doesn't give us a uh, entity, like a government entity, um, until part two. It says file with the US. PTO, um, which we get immediately in Google. Um, so there seems to be a little bit more detail in the Google one, but the step-by-step -step process steps involved are pretty similar. So I might give this one a tie if you're looking for trademark information. If anything, I would give a little bit of an edge to Google. It has more details of things like the cost, $250. Obviously, if you're focused on getting the trademark, the cost is important. So close to a tie, maybe an edge to Bard in this situation. Okay, last prompt. Let's ask it to write a press release for a made up business. I'm saying I'm opening a car wash in New York City on a specific date. And I want it to write a press release that I could use to promote the opening of my new car wash. So immediately we get a press release that is pretty well formatted, pretty short, but it covers the basics of what you would look for in a press release. So not bad. Let's see what we can do with that same prompt in ChatGPT. And the first thing that I noticed at this point was that this prompt took a little bit longer. It started to slow down. Now, it is important to note that I am using a free version of ChatGPT. I'm not paying for um, the newest or the fastest one. And you see it's taken a little bit longer to answer this one. I've noticed that sometimes with ChatGPT, I assume that the delay is often due to a lot of people using it or maybe a lot of API calls to it. 
slowing down the overall system, but even compared to the prompts that I was asking just a minute ago, it seems to be slower. Uh, so I am going to fast forward this a little bit just so we get to the end of what they delivered. Okay, so now we're watching this in four times speed writing the press release. And the first thing that you'll notice is that there's a lot more detail in here. It's writing a lot more, it's a longer press release. Obviously, it's taking some liberties. It is saying things like we're eco-friendly. It is making up quotes from the owner. I didn't give ChatGPT either of those prompts. So it is interesting that it would take that liberty to write that. Of course, you could remove it or adjust it. I think having more is better than having less, but I found it interesting that it would take that kind of liberty. Um, now, one thing you'll notice when we get to the end here is that we get this red network error. It did complete the prompt, but then it kind of timed out, so you might need to refresh it and get going. Um, again, if you get back to BARD, we see that that press release is a lot shorter than what we saw in ChatGPT, so I would give ChatGPT the win on this one. So what are the results? Well, it was pretty close. ChatGPT may have come out ahead a little bit more than BARD, and these were pretty basic prompts. I wasn't asking it to check any sort of code. So I think it depends on what you're going to be giving it uh, in terms of a prompt, how you're going to be using it. But early on, it is very interesting to see the similarities between the two. And I think it's a really good show of why AI is important, but still evolving. Right? Different AIs will respond different ways, just like different humans will respond different ways. Two experts on a particular subject may give you a slightly different explanation for why that subject is important, the history of it, how it works, things like that. AI seems to be no different. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description to sign up for both platforms and subscribe to AdCoach for more educational content and check out myadcoach.com. Thanks. Mm -hmm.